Hey, what's up YouTube? Brat7 here with one of the rare off-stream spoken videos. I mean, I don't do these very much, but um, I mean, I thought that for this video it'd probably work best if I did that. As you could see from the title of this, this video, uh, yeah, not looking too great, is it? Uh, but don't worry, I'll explain all. I'll explain why, I'm, why I've got on board of Splatoon and Tetrio and what, what will happen on the channel going forward. I'm just going to get the Splatoon stuff out of the way, so if you're only here for the Tetris stuff, then yeah, feel free to skip ahead. So, the last Splatoon video I uploaded was, I think, almost four months ago. So, uh, it's been a long time, but the thing is, I never really actually confirmed, like, what was going to happen to Splatoon videos and all that. So, I mean, I thought that maybe if there are any. Splatoon fans, I mean, I know most of the subscribers are Tetris people, but if there's any Splatoon people that are wondering what happened to the Splatoon videos, then yeah, I thought I may as well explain what happened. Uh, I mean, as I said, it's been like four months since I uploaded a Splatoon video. I mean, actually, the video I'm showing right now is my most recent Splatoon video from the Shiver Fry Big Man Splatfest. It was my uh, Turf War um, ink record. I mean, it was tricolor. But yeah, it was my record. But anyway, yeah, so it's been a long time and uh, yeah, I mean, like o over time I just thought like I wasn't really enjoying the game as much. I mean, a big reason was that it's a pretty rage-inducing game. Like, I don't know, Splatoon, I hate to say it, but it is one of the most rage-inducing games I've ever played. Like, especially Splatoon 3. I don't know what it is about this game, but it's just, I don't know, it just, it just is so rage inducing sometimes that just makes it not fun to play which is sad because you know i want to have fun but if you're not having fun then then what's the point i will say over time though i was still sometimes playing the game just i mean not nearly as much as before but um like i'd still play in splat fests and big runs and even some of the challenges as well but the, the truth is like even like like now like, more time has passed and I just find myself kind of caring, like, less and less. I mean, I'm still sort of loosely keeping up to date with what's going on and the updates and all that. Uh, I mean, I still look at Splatoon stuff on Reddit and all that, but I just don't really find myself really feeling like playing the game much anymore. Like, even less than before. Like, even recently they did some challenge reruns, I think. It was the Trizuka one and, uh can't remember the others. I think it was the fast swimming one and the random weapons, random outfits challenge. Thing is, all those challenges I had enjoyed the first time, so like, I, I could have done them again, but I just, I just didn't feel like it, even though those were challenges that I'd enjoyed, so like, I do think it's kind of safe to say I've pretty much got on board of Splatoon. I mean, Frosty Fest is coming up soon. I don't know if I'll play it or not. I'll see how I feel. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just don't really find myself thinking much about it anymore, so, yeah, that's what it is right now. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's safe to say there's probably not really going to be any more Splatoon videos on the channel. Apologies if there are any Splatoon fans out there watching my videos, but, yeah, unfortunately it's come to this. It was going to happen eventually anyway. But if there were any Splatoon fans out there who are watching my channel, thank you. Yeah, I mean, obviously I know it wasn't a huge part of my channel, it was mostly Tetris stuff, but, but yeah, I mean, thanks, thanks if anyone was watching. But with that all out of the way, now we are on to the main part about me getting bored of Tetrio. Now, you're probably thinking, but weren't you just bored of Tetrio? You only recently got back into it. Well, yeah, but I'm bored again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I know it's not been that long, I think it was about a year ago where I kind of retired from Tetris as a whole for at least like maybe six, seven months and then got back into it. But I mean, not all hope is lost because before I'd got bored of Tetris as a whole, now it's just Tetrio because some of you may know, some of you may not know. I did get Tetris Effect connected a few months ago and I've been playing that, it's been pretty fun. I mean, I did actually upload a video from that game yesterday, um, but, but anyway, I'll, I'll get on to Tetris Effect Connected later. The main thing is Tetrio for now. 
So why am I bored of Tetrio? Similar case to Splatoon is rage inducing. Like, dang, it is. Tetrio is also one of the most rage inducing games I've ever played alongside Splatoon. <laughs> Which is annoying, because you know, I mean, I used to really enjoy Tetrio, but, I mean, the, the main problem is Tetra League, because the thing is, like, that, like that's usually my favourite mode. Like, when it's not rage-inducing, Tetra League is amazing, it's really fun, but it's just, recently it's just been even more rage-inducing than usual. I don't know, maybe I'm getting worse at the game, uh, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I just feel more rage when playing it. And it's just it's just annoying it gets to the point where it just it, it puts me off the game as a whole. But like I I don't wanna say that, but that's that's the truth. Because Tetra League was like the main thing I did in Tetrio. So if the main thing if the main part of the game for me is becoming annoying and unfun, is that even a word? <laughs> anyway, yeah, but if it, if it's becoming not fun anymore then like yeah, see it it, it kinda just destroys the enjoyment of the whole game, which is is annoying, but that's the case, sadly. Now, I know to simulate Tetra League, you can just do a custom room, put the Tetra League settings, and say 1v1 with... Well, I'm x rank, so I could say 1v1 with, like, you or x rank people, or, like, people above 24k or something like that. Because the thing is, I, I did do that for some time, and, I mean, yeah, I suppose it was it was kind of fun, Kinda, but it, it just, I don't know, it just didn't really feel the same. Like, I, I don't know, I, I don't really know why, but it's just like, it, it may, maybe it's the adrenaline you get from playing Tetra League, maybe is that what I enjoyed or something? But at the same time, obviously doing custom room 1v1s, it, it takes away some of the tilt because you're not like losing your TR from from getting from losses and all that but I don't know like I, I did do that for some time but like now it's just like I, I just don't really feel like doing that I just don't really feel like playing the game obviously I know there's other stuff you can do in Tetrio like there's quick play the quick play is not it was never really my main thing like I I'd, I'd just do like a little bit of quick play as a warm-up generally so but it, it, it's not really enough to sort of keep me hooked onto Tetrio and then there's single player stuff like Sprint and Blitz, but like, I, I haven't been my record in ages, and I, yeah, I have no idea when I'm gonna get a new record in either of those modes. And there is Zen, and Zen is pretty chill, like, that's that's kind of just more like a, a, a little time waster, like, you wanna just pass a bit of time, you can, you can hop on Tetria and play some Zen, like, it's not really like a main part of the game, it's just kind of... You just want to chill while playing Tetris, then yeah, Zen's the one. Like even now, I still do Zen a little bit, like every now and then. Like I think I played some Zen like a couple of days ago, but uh, like it, it's it's not again. It's not like a main thing that would that would keep me hooked onto the game. But basically, it's just like if I'm not really enjoying Tetra League, then that kind of just that that will mostly mean that I don't really enjoy the game anymore. Even if I can kind of simulate Tetra League in a custom room, it's just, I don't know why, but it just doesn't really feel the same, so, yeah, that's that's basically why I've gotten bored of Tetrio. I mean, I will say, I sometimes still watch Tetrio on YouTube, like, I just find like, one of the channels I'm subscribed to is upload a new video, then I'll probably watch it if I think it's interesting. But, yeah, in terms of actually playing the game, well, it doesn't really happen too much anymore, unfortunately. But remember, I'm not bored of Tetris as a whole, I still enjoy Tetris Effect Connected, and I mean, like I said, I'll still watch some Tetrio on YouTube, or, or whatever Tetris, like, like any Tetris game. I mean, but I've also heard about what's been going on in Classic Tetris, some pretty impressive stuff. People crashing the game, aka beating the game, it's pretty cool. Blue Scooty and I think a couple others managed to do it as well, so yeah. I mean that's all pretty cool as well. So yeah, like I'm still, I'm, I'm not, I'm not completely bored of Tetris. It's just mostly Tetrio. But uh, without Splatoon and Tetrio, what does this mean for the channel?
As I said earlier in the video, I got Tetris Effect connected a few months ago. I'm going to refer to it as TEC, it's a lot easier to say. Um, yes, yeah, so I got TEC a few months ago and I have been enjoying the game a lot. It's quite different to Tetrio. I mean, it's, first of all, it's slower paced, like you can't change the handling, slow soft drop speed, and can't do 180 rotations and all that. So, I mean, that took some time to get used to, but yeah, no, I got used to it now. And, um... Obviously, there's the whole zone mechanic, which stops time, pretty much. And then you get to clear loads of lines at once. I mean, it probably... I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but you'll probably be able to see in the, in the game that I'm showing right now. But it is a really cool game. I mean, there's a lot of single-player stuff, and the online is fun, too. Okay, the matchmaking is sometimes a little bit all over the place, but overall, it is a fun game. And of course, I can't forget to mention the graphics and the visuals are amazing. Like, they, it is really cool to have like an aesthetic take on Tetris, because this this game has done it really well. So yeah, there's that as well. Now you may be wondering if this game is Tetris related. I've had it for a few months already, and I'm enjoying it. And how come I haven't uploaded anything except one video? And there's quite a few reasons. So, um, so firstly, there's no replay feature. So I'd have to record every game, and then if if I think it's YouTube worthy, I can upload it. If not, I can delete the video. It's just I, I was honestly just too lazy to do that. And then also another reason is that well, I don't really find many highlight worthy things, many YouTube worthy things in this game, which is perhaps a little ironic because I mean I do enjoy the game, but. And you may think like, oh, is that does that mean the game is boring? Like, no, no, I have been having fun with the game, but I don't know. I just don't really find much stuff that I would that I always that I think to myself, oh, oh, that, that could go on YouTube. Like, it, it's quite rare for that to happen. So yeah, that is another reason. And lastly, I w was still uploading Tetrio stuff, so I thought, well, if I have Tetrio videos anyway, then like. It, it, it's not a huge deal if I don't have any TEC videos because I did think that Tetrio was still the main thing and like like for a few months I still thought that Tetrio was like my main Tetris game. TEC I was thinking I kind of I, I got the game kind of more for my own enjoyment but now since I've gotten bored of Tetrio but I'm not bored of Tetris as a whole I think I'll upload some TEC videos in the future but don't expect them to be common, they're probably going to be quite rare because, well, I, I, like I said, I don't really find many YouTube worthy things in the game, so yeah, I think I think they will probably be quite rare. But another reason why I think it will be good to um, upload some TEC videos, or at least record all my gameplay and then, like, whichever videos I don't put on YouTube I can just delete. Uh, a good reason for that is because, like, I, I, I never, I'll never know what can happen, like, I can't predict the future, I'm not a fortune teller, so like anything can happen, so like something really cool could happen, and like imagine then if I can't put it on YouTube, that, that, that'd be quite annoying. Like the TEC video I uploaded recently was it was me getting matched against Dory Me in the zone battle, and like yeah obviously Dory Me is really famous and he's an extremely skilled Tetris player so it was pretty to be against him but I couldn't record it in time but he was streaming and I got his permission to like use his stream footage to show the game because I mean it, it was literally just gameplay like no chat no mic no webcam nothing so yeah and plus for old time's sake you remember I got matched against Dory Me in Tetrio Tetra League and like it became my most viewed YouTube video by a long way so of like a blast to the past but in a different game yeah also one random thing you may have noticed it says Prath 08 instead of Prath 7 it's because I got this game from the Epic Games store and when making my Epic Games account Prath 7 was taken so I just went with Prath 08 but uh, there is something else that I have been thinking about maybe adding to the channel unfortunately it's not Tetris related but it's something I've been thinking about. I don't know how many of you know of Rhythm Heaven, but I'm thinking of adding some Rhythm, Rhythm Heaven stuff um, to the channel. Basically, well, it's, it's in the title, it's a Rhythm video game series. 
It, you, you might be thinking, oh, is it anything like Osu? Because I know a lot of Tetris people are into Osu. Nah, it's not like Osu. I mean, yes, there's rhythm, but like, like Osu also relies on like the visuals and stuff. Whereas Rhythm Heaven, like, there's just there's there's mini games and you gotta do certain actions to the beat and stuff. And like, they they kind of, uh, I mean, obviously seeing it does sometimes help, but like, the main thing you gotta rely on is the rhythm. Basically, you can you can get through all of Rhythm Heaven with your eyes closed, but you can't play Osu with your eyes closed, for example. And yeah, I mean, I do quite like the Rhythm Heaven series. I played, um, well, there's four, like, official Rhythm Heaven games in the series. I've played three of them. The only one I've not played is the one on the DS. Basically, there, there's some people that have, like, made a fan-made level editor, pretty much. I mean, there, there are some, like, early releases and stuff, but I haven't actually tried it out yet, because it's officially coming out, I think, some point next week, so... I'm gonna wait until then, and then I'm gonna try it, and if I if I get into it, if I get good at making levels and stuff, then maybe I might upload some of them onto YouTube. And who knows, I may even try and make some, like, some levels with Tetris music. So, that'd be, that'd be quite cool. So yeah, I mean, th this is just a consideration, though, like, I, I, I'm, not go I'm not gonna guarantee that I am gonna upload this Heaven Studio stuff. Yeah, Heaven Studio is the name of this level editor that's coming out soon. Yeah. So again, like, that's, that's not guaranteed, but if, if I like it, if I'm enjoying it, if I feel like I'm good at making levels, then yeah, I'll, I'll put some of those onto YouTube. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically what will be in this channel in the future. The so TEC, well, TEC will probably be quite rare, and Heaven Studio, if I get into it, then yeah, that too. Although, again, I don't know. It, like, even if I do get into it, I don't know how frequently I'll upload those, so... Yeah, that's that's kind of what, what will be happening. So, I mean, I think I've said pretty much everything I wanted to say. I mean, yeah, thanks thanks again for watching the Splatoon and Tetrio stuff. And, I mean, remember, I can always get back into the game. I mean, I don't know when or if it will happen, but... Yeah, I mean, like, like at some point, I, I could get back into those games, so not all hope is lost, and remember, at least there will still be a bit of Tetris stuff on the channel from TEC, so yeah, I mean, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching the video, and see you guys, bye.